Going now to France, railway workers there have got on strike that's supposed to last till June 28. Now the workers are protesting President Emmanuel Macron's planned reforms. The government says the national rail company SNCF must be reformed by 2020 when railways will be open to foreign competition. Here's Alia Garcia from our Paris Bureau. French rail workers kicked off three months of rolling strikes part of a wave of industrial action that will test President Emmanuel Macron's resolve to reshape France with sweeping reforms. The strike will cause chaos for France's 4.5 million train passengers. The strike will have stoppages planned two days out of five until June 28. That, unless President Macron drops his deal to force a major overhaul at state rail operator SNCF. French railway workers, some of whom are employed under work rules that go back to World War II, and the days of coal for locomotives, are resisting any attempt to tamper with their pay, pensions, or benefits. What's more, they fear the government, as it's done in other sectors, is heading towards privatizing the railway system, a system some union leaders think it should be entirely free. President Macron says the SNCF is saddled with 46.6 billion euros or 57.5 billion dollars of debt. And it needs to make a major changes as Europe countries prepare to open passenger rail to competition by 2020. It is 30% more expensive to run a train in France than anywhere else in Europe, according to his government. Donc que c'est compliqué d'avoir des informations auprès de la SNCF, peut-être aller au guichet, mais moi je n'ai pas eu le temps d'aller au, au guichet SNCF de Rennes, donc j'ai eu, eu des informations que par SMS euh, ou par mail, je ne sais même plus, et après pour les contacter, bah, numéro, numéro vert, et puis on est en attente, quoi, en attente, en attente, à euh, je plus 20 ou 40 centimes la minute. And so there's massive problems when there's a strike for me. But today I've had no problems, so it's been fairly good. The rail strikes are being seen as the biggest challenge yet to President Macron's sweeping plans to liberalize the French economy and make it more competitive. Reporting from Paris, France, this is Alia Garcia, and I am one with 25.